welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a really easy and delicious um, keto recipe. This actually uses the seasoned salt recipe that I showed you in a previous video. I will link it below, but I use that in the recipe as, yeah, my only like spice herb or whatever blend. That's what I use and it makes it really, really yummy. So if you're new, please subscribe. And if you like this content, please like and comment and we're gonna get on to the video. First thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Next, get a baking sheet. It just needs to be the size for as many as you are making. Put one cup of green beans to one side of your baking pan. Next, put one thawed chicken breast on the other side. Then you'll want to shave some very thin shavings of one tablespoon of butter. When that is done, set it to the side and bring over your pan again. Then you'll want to take the seasoned salt mixture that we made in another video. I will link that video below for the recipe. Just put about a tablespoon on the chicken or to your liking and about a teaspoon of seasoning to the green beans. Mix it all around, rub it down, and then put some butter below the chicken breast and above the chicken breast to keep it nice and moist. And then put some over with the green beans as well. When that is done, clean your hands to not cross contaminate anything and put it in the oven for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, take it out and toss around the green beans and turn over the chicken breast. Then put it into the oven for 10 more minutes. When that is done, you'll want to put a thermometer in your chicken to, to make sure it is cooked. It has to be at least 165 degrees to be cooked by the USDA. Put it back in the oven for about 10 more minutes. At this point, it should be done. Just stick the thermometer in it again to make sure it is the right temperature. After it hits 165 degrees, as we can see, it's right over that. You can take your thermometer out of your chicken and then plate it. After that is all on your plate, if you have some hard boiled eggs, grab those out and cut it into eight pieces. I found that two hard boiled eggs really do the trick. Then put some salt and pepper on your eggs and there you have your delectable keto dish that is so amazing you don't feel like you're missing out on anything and it gets so tender and juicy as well.